pick ourselves up, dust ourselves down. Roy gets us back in the game with a header. But a yellow card for Roy Keane meant that if United qualified, their captain would miss the final. He was just immense in that game and he, he spurred everyone on. Because uh, suddenly now if we score, we're through. And we got to him before half time and they panicked. We were a better team after that. Throughout that game, I don't think we ever believed we were going to lose. Coming out second half, we played like men possessed. We then got a winning goal from Colway. It was a great moment because we'd been in the semi finals and always felt a bit unlucky. But to get there that night was fantastic. A lot was labelled at that team after saying the strength of the team, the character of the team, everything. Is the treble on now? <laughs> <laughs> I knew before the match that booking would uh, I missed the final. It doesn't really matter that United got there, that's the most important. Proud, proud moment for me. My players are absolutely fantastic. Absolutely never seen. Yes! <laughs> the camaraderie was massive, not just on the football pitch, but off the football pitch. Roy decided to call a team meeting, as we used to call them then. And we used to go out for a bite to eat and a few drinks. We used to address our problems then and forget about it the next day in training. You know what I mean? There was something so special about the, that team. The bond was absolutely unbelievable. Basic to that bond were the players who'd spent the best part of their lives at the club. They've grown up together, so it really meant uh, a lot to them to do it together. They could kick each other in training so badly. The fierce rivalry was there, but then when they got to a game, we felt that these young kids were the spirit of the, of the team. We got into the rhythm of playing, uh, resting, recovering, preparing, playing. And the more we won, we felt more or less invincible. The last 10 days of the season would decide everything. United had to beat Tottenham Hotspur on the final day to ensure the league title. We had four centre forwards who could play with each other at any given time. And the managers made the decision to leave me out, so I had to take it on the chin as you do. To see us go, go down to Tottenham. And we all saying to ourselves, oh no, this has got to be our day. And then Bex gets us back in the game, makes us 1 1. I was fortunate enough to be brought on at half-time by the manager and with my first touch, I've ended up lobbying Ian Walker to win it the last game of the season and to win it at Old Trafford. You can't ask for much more than that. One trophy down and two to go. Six days later, Manchester United faced Newcastle United in the FA Cup final. It was a very easy final. I think when such a, a run by that time, my momentum had just got, was bigger and bigger, you know, and... I think it was only going to be one winner. Matthew Cole, good play by him. Here's Sheringham. That was deeply dark too, and it scores. Sliding it on to Sheringham! That's Sheringham to score! The last stop on the quest for the treble was a trip to Barcelona's Nou Camp to meet Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. Concord. Wow. I've never been on Concord before. Get there. And uh, it was very, we were very chilled out. Very chilled out leading up to the game. The Tuesday night was one of the toughest night sleeps ever. Come down in the morning and all the boys were saying, how do you sleep? I couldn't sleep a wink. No one could sleep a wink, you know, because we'd never been there before. Uh, we were still a very young team, you know, and no one had ever been to a European Cup final, so we never knew what to expect. The Premier League is so tough and such a marathon that I think any English team, when they reach a European Cup final, are actually very, very tired, and um, we were no different. Seven matches, United's football has neared perfection this year. Surely nobody is going to sport it all for them now. Unfortunately, the managers had to change the team around a bit because Slozy and Keeney were missing. You know, Jesper came in on, on the left, I think. Butty came in in the middle of the park. I think Giggsy went across on the right. So, you, you know, you're upsetting the balance of, of, of what is a fantastic football inside. It's Basler. Down 
think it was important what the manager said at half time. He talks about walking past that trophy and not being able to touch it if we've lost, so we need to give it all as we as we always do. I think, you know, them words sort of spurred us on for the second half. Ferguson sent on Teddy Sheningham after 67 minutes, but still the German side, though obviously tiring, remained ahead. Delicious chip hits the post and bounces straight back into the hands of Peter Schmeichel. They were in control, dominated, hit the crossbar, and had some great chances, but you feel if they don't score here, we, we can still have a chance. And that's one of the things that the gaffer always used to say, that always hang in there, always take something out of the game. On 81 minutes, it was time for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's entrance. I cannot remember what he said. I just, he probably didn't say anything. He just go out there and try to get a goal or something. I can't remember, because I was that focused to... When's he going to put me on? When's he going to put me on? 90 minutes played, still trailing 1-0. For United, it was now or never. My favourite goal is and will always be the equalising goal in the Champions League final because that gave us a shot. It's towards Schmeichel. It's come for Dwight York. Clear, gets with a shot. Jerry! Two minutes later, Solskjaer won another corner. Up stepped Beckham once again. I had a great feeling that day that something big was going to happen to me. My uh, best friend, who um, is a nurse, he, uh, he had a night shift that night. So I spoke to him earlier on and asked him if he was going to watch the game. Yeah, but he had to go before the game was finished because he had to start his night shift. And then... Uh, I made sure to tell him, no, make sure you get someone to fill in for you, because something big is going to happen to me tonight. Beckham into Sheringham, and Solskjaer has won it! Just instinct. I never practised that finish. It was just my lucky day. It was probably my best moment. I'm thinking we're going to lose this to pure ecstasy. From feeling like we'd reached the top, we came crashing down, all the way to the bottom. We had to watch Manchester United celebrate. We had to watch them lift the trophy. I congratulated Alex Ferguson on winning, but I was so disappointed. Inside, I was just devastated. Two manic minutes have turned the match on its head. Improbably, almost unbelievably, Manchester United were European champions and the treble was complete. We just refused to give in and we, we risked to try and get it back in the match and if you risk you deserve something. It had been a magical ten days and the homecoming was merely affirmation. It was nearly a million people. It's refreshing to know that I was part of that uh, memorable moment. Well, it's just a fairy tale also in itself because to achieve it, no one will do it again. But if someone is going to do it with us, it can be done again. But it does take some doing. But we did. And I think it's true more of the ability of the fact that we could score goals because. You know, we were strong defensively, but I think we were such an attack-minded side. I'm very, very biased. I'm very biased. If your team wins the trouble, you're the best team. Camaraderie, the way we stuck together, I think that says a hell of a lot for a football team. So I'd like to believe that um, that team was the best team. If you could say to me, bring 10 days back and live it again, they would be the 10 days in my life that I would. Every time I speak about those 10 days and think about it, I get goosebumps just thinking about the moments, the special times, the achievement of everything coming together perfectly in one season to do what we did. Since 1999, Manchester United, managed by Sir Alec Ferguson, have continued to win trophies year after year, and in 2008, they became European champions for a third time. The 2008 team, you know, Giggs, goals. Rooney, Ronaldo, Tevez, Vidic, Ferdinand, Evra, Wes Brown at right back, Van der Sar in there. That was a special, special team that had everything. But what you'll never change is the spirit of 99. The way we won it, 
I think inspired many Man United players and it's in the tradition of Man United doing it that way. Just never give in. I can't tell you how many matches we've won in, uh, in, uh, in added on time, but it's a lot. We were scored in the last minute too many times for it to be an accident. What it did tell you about Manchester United was that they had an indomitable spirit of never giving in and chasing right to the wire to try and achieve a result. That is not an accident, that's the character of the team, that's the personality of the team. And, uh, you know, because of that, they deserve to win it.